Hey everyone, Steven here. Thank you for joining me. So this episode, we're going to talk about this guy here, Sideria japonica. Um, this is the flower. Uh, I want to talk about it right now <laughs> before they go away because it's actually already been blooming for a couple weeks and it's got a super strong, sweet aroma. This is where the flower is. If I exit this greenhouse, going to my kitchen in the house i can smell that flower from here that's how strong that flower smells the only other flowers that's that i have that used to strong that strongly uh used to smell that strongly is the coconut um well co coconut is the is kind of the nickname here but it's this guy here and i will talk about that guy later in another episode maybe maybe when it flowers again but anyways, for Sideria japonica is a native plant to Western Pacific. As you can tell from the name japonica, um, it's from part of Japan, Southeast China, Taiwan, and even part of Philippines. Um, this thing, if you look at the shape of the leaf, um, disregard the flower, but if you, if you just look at the leaf and the roots, it was actually once mistaken as a phalaenopsis and you can really tell why so this here is a phalaenopsis um these guys here are phalaenopsis so you can tell why people would mistaken them for a phalaenopsis and um it wasn't until recently that the scientists realized that this is actually an entirely different species not even an entirely different species but like a whole different class of orchids and i've mounted it onto the wood it came to me actually um kind of in a bounded container in moss which by the way um i will probably mention it a lot but whenever you get an orchid from a store that is pot bond like filled up with just nothing but wet moss please please repot it right away it's not that the moss the way they sell it is bad it's that um the way we care for orchid or the way that we have orchids in our house is not ideal it's really impossible for most people to replicate that environment that warm humid yet um strong airflow environment that the orchid needs um, greenhouses that raise them do that's why they can afford to put the orchids just shop them in a bunch of moss and um, call it a day but at home if you keep your orchid in moss um, you must have very good airflow do not overwater them and have good enough lighting in order for that orchid to thrive I notice I say thrive not survive you can keep a lot of orchids surviving by keeping them in the pot and the moss but there's a difference between surviving and thriving. Some people, their orchids would just, you know, flower for a few days after they get them from the store. And then the flower goes away and they never see the flower come back for years and they wonder why. Well, uh, the medium is a reason why. So one of the two things you can do since orchids, this uh, at least many of these uh, orchids are orig originally kind of like a parasite on trees. So what you can do is uh, either plant them in barks or chips that's close enough to their natural environment yet easy to control for human. Or you can mount them on a piece of wood or bark like I do here with uh, many of my mounted orchids. It's pretty simple. A lot of people use fishing lines or nylon, nylon strings. Um, I like to use a more na natural organic approach. So I actually got string. Um, this, uh, natural fiber string uh, from Amazon again really cheap and then I put a little bit of a moss underneath but not suffocatingly a lot just a small layer a thin layer to hold the moisture in and then I tie up the orchids onto the board and as you can see um, this orchid has been on this board for maybe three months by now and um, there's a lot of new new root growth growth right there right there all the green parts those are all new growth so it's already kind of become attached to this this mount and as you can see um, it didn't come with flower so it must be doing well because it decided to grow out the flower stock for me so styria japonica 
If you can find them online or in stores, strongly recommend them. They are compact sized orchids, easy to care for, hard to kill, super fragrant and beautiful flower. And if you have any questions regarding this species, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to chat with you. Thank you. And uh, let me just put this away, free up my hands so I can click out. Have a good day.